Welcome from Budapest, y'all. Right now, we are on our way to go to a wine and charcuterie and cheese tasting. So hopefully this is delicious. As with most of the places we went, we took the tram, super efficient. Very much a white wine person myself, I was letting Nick take over the reds. I was mainly here for the cheese and meat. Nick didn't seem to mind. Definitely did not mind. How is the wine, cheese? I'm lit. <laughs> I'm lit. Yeah? Yeah. That good, huh? Oh, God, yes. Okay. So, we bought three bottles of wine, a bunch of cheese. This, like, truffle beetroot jam. So good. So good. Yeah. I want to bathe in it. And now I'm out of breath. I'm back home. We're walking up the staircase back to our house. But it was good. I enjoyed it, and I normally hate wine, so that was a nice experience. But babe's lit. I'm wasted. After a quick siesta, we were able to rally and try out one of the ruin bars in the city. Just like the name suggests, these are buildings that are old or in ruin and now are used for various bars. Each room had a different theme and it was pretty packed here, as you can see. So what's up, party peeps? After the uh, the bar that we went to, uh, the series of bars we went to, we needed some chicken in our life. Uh, we went to this place called Toskide. I don't know. Chicken and waffle cone. Chicken and waffle cone. Um, we're gonna take this home. And I'm very, very excited. It smells delicious. Delicious. It was so good, we even forgot to record. Okay, so, where are we heading? We are heading... <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, where are we heading? I'm ready for my big moment. Okay, Jesus, where are we heading? <laughs> Today we're gonna go to a beer spa. Um, it's basically, I wanted to do thermal baths, but Nick likes beer, so we're kind of meeting in the middle. And from my understanding, I'm gonna be bathing in beer. Is that uh, correct? I think it's the ingredients. We'll see. Hopefully I don't smell like a frat house, but. We were correct in thinking that it was ingredients for beer in the spa and not beer itself. Thankfully, I did not want to smell like a brewery. Not only were we able to fully relax, but you got all the beer you can drink. Okay, so what did you think of the beer spa? I look naked. <laughs> what did you think of the beer spa? You gotta pay extra yeah. to see the minutes. What did you think of the beer spa? I think it was good. Um, I'm excited we're gonna continue on the journey and go back to the regular practice now. So, we'll see some more stuff. Yeah. It was relaxing, so now we want to continue. So I know we didn't film it all in the bathhouse, but it would have been weird. There's a bunch of people just sitting in thermal baths. Would have been but mad weird. <laughs> but how did you enjoy your experience? We just got out. We were in there for maybe like a couple hours. We were in there for like two hours? Yeah. How's your experience, Nick? I feel terrible. <laughs> yeah. I feel purified, <laughs> mineralized. I feel fantastic. 
So it's like nice too, cause like all the thermal baths are obviously like filled with minerals and like they change the water every day. So it's very sanitary, but it's cool. Cause like every single bath is a different temperature and like some of them have different minerals in them. But like I could even, you couldn't really smell it too much, but I could smell like, I was like, oh yeah, this is full of minerals. Yeah, yeah. This is full of minerals. But I think there's also like the sauna and going from the sauna into like- The cold bath. That was nice. Oh gosh. I liked it. 10 out of 10. We'll yeah. be back probably yeah. tomorrow. 100%. Thanks for tuning in this week. Hit that like and subscribe button if you found this interesting and we'll see you next time. See you next week. <laughs>